Yeah. So this place is beautiful. You like it? I love it. <laughs> oh baby, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, where is he going to? Junior. Where are you going? Uh, Junior? Junior! I guess he just wants to look around. Huh? Oh. And the poolside is over there. Okay. Junior! Free me! Free me! Free me from the chains of captivity that has held me hostage for years! Free me! Please, don't hurt me, please, 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 don't hurt, please don't hurt me, please. came in here, you ran to the back of the house. And now you're in here screaming, don't hurt me. Who are you talking to? Dad, Dad, Dad I just saw the most scariest thing in my entire life. She, she, she was right here. Are you mad? No, are you going insane? How dare you, Junio? How dare you ignore your father and I? How dare you? I can see that you are not just possessed, you have lost your manners also, right? Annabelle. What is it? Annabelle, please stop. Alright? It's too early for this. We just moved into a new house. I thought you abandoned that hit in the former house. Really? Yes. I did not. I did not. As a matter of fact, my hatred for this thing has increased. You know why? Because he has been the one eating my born children. If, 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 if. Annabelle. Mom, what, sorry. You, what did you call me? What did you just call me? I, I just I just heard the voice and I followed it to this place. Do I look like your mother? I am going to stop calling me mother. Stop calling me mother. Are you mad? Stop calling me mother. Do I look like your mother? What is this? Enough of all this. How would you feel if someone treated your own biological child like this? How would you freaking feel? Collins, are you trying to mock me? No. Collins, are you trying to remind me that this is our fourth year in marriage and I have nothing to show for it? All we have, Junior, to show for it. It's not my son! It can never be my son! This thing, this thing is a wizard. Can't you take, can't you just understand it? Listen, you wizard, I know your plan. Hmm? I know your plan, but trust me when I say that your plan will never work! Annabelle! You keep eating my own child! You keep eating my own child! You keep eating my own child! Annabelle! Why I said this? stop! I said stop! I promise you everything's going to be fine, okay? Alright? Now let me show you to your room. So, uh, let us pray. Alright. Let me leave us in prayer. Good. Do demons pray? Eyes close. In Jesus' name, 
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Abba Father, King of Glory, we thank you for this food. We pray that this food will nourish our spirits, our body, and our soul. Thy blood shall I drink. Thy flesh shall I feast on. Thy bones shall I crush. And thy soul shall I own for eternity. Junior, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Huh? Ever since we got into this house, we've been acting straight. What's, what's going on? I saw her again. You saw who? The girl, she was asking me to free her. She was sitting down right there. Will you just keep that your stupid hands? If you point that miserable hands of yours on me again, I will break it into pieces. Are you mad? Oh, you think you will have peace? No, you will not have peace because there is no peace for the wicked. Yes! But you know what? I will not add to your torture. So pick your food, go to your room and eat. Else I will start starving you in this house. Don't you dare stand from there. Annabelle, what in God's name is wrong with you? Instead of trying to find out why the boy is acting strange, you are causing more havoc. Ever since we got into this house, you have been trying to divide this family. Since when did we start eating separately? Since when? Collins, I am tired of everything. I am tired of pretending. I am tired of acting as if everything is okay with us. Everything is not. I am tired of living under the same roof with this demon. I am tired of I am here. That's enough. You should choose your words wisely. Especially when it has to do with our son. Really? Yes, really. You want to beat me? No, Collins! You want to beat me! And why are you fidgeting? Are you not happy? You should be clapping! You are supposed to be dancing! This is what you want! You are supposed to so be happy! Annabelle, can you stop right now? Stop! 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 Please calm down. I think I should take my food to my room. At least I have a food to eat, a roof under my head. I should be thankful considering where I'm coming from. You're my savior. But guess what? You will not last long on this earth. But you have set free the wrong prisoner. So 
Jesus, please. Please don't kill me. 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 Who are you? What do you want from me? Why are you tormenting me? Who are you? For thousands of years, the spell of captivity has held my very existence. And it is only you who can free me. Free me! The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in the green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Enough! Let's see who restores whose soul today. Please. Junior, what's going on? What is it? Dad, we need to leave this house. Dad, this house is no more safe. Dad, let's leave this house. Do you know what are you talking about? Dad, I saw her again. The girl that always appears to me. She was begging me to free her. She was so angry and she almost killed me. Junior, you need to relax. Okay? It was just a nightmare. No, Dad, it's not a nightmare. I know what I saw. It's not. It's not a nightmare. Of course it's not a nightmare. Is it not obvious? It's the consequences of all your evil that is haunting you. But well, listen to me, Mr. Man. If you disturb my sleep again, I swear to God you will sleep outside. At least you have enough space and time to discuss with your witches and wizard. Stupid boy. Useless thing. I'm not lying, I know what I saw. She was standing right here. Junior, look around you. There's no one in this room but us. Okay? So you need to relax. It's just a nightmare. Come on. Go back to bed. Sweep the truth over the carpet. For how long do you intend to act as if everything is fine? This keep getting sore by the day and do nothing about it. And what truth are you talking about? Really? Are you seriously asking me that question? Yes. Junior is possessed with an evil spirit. What am I even saying? He's a wizard. He has been the one eating our own child. Are you not Darling, I have warned you before, and I'm warning you again. Don't you ever refer to our son as possessed. Don't. Are you serious? Listen, I won't stop. You 
know why? You are not the one going through what I've been going through! You are not the one that goes to the market only to be insulted by the market women! They call me buying! Each day I go to the market! You are not the one whose mother in law wearing insults on! Of course, you won't be bothered! Because you are not passing through what I've been going through! But listen to me, Collins. Junior is not your biological son, and he can never be my son! And who told you you are not bothered? Of course I am bothered. I just have faith that God will someday bless us with our own child. But until then, stop blaming the innocent boy for what he didn't do. He's nothing but a sweet, innocent soul. Will you spare me that rubbish? It's nothing but a sweet, innocent Just listen to yourself talk! Have you forgotten? Collins, have you forgotten that I went to the church and they told me that Junior is responsible for my inability to conceive? That he has been the one eating up our unborn child? Have you forgotten so soon? And of course you know I do not trust those prayer houses. But like I said earlier, God will bless us at the appointed time. Not when the devourer of my unborn child still live under the same roof with us. Now, why do you keep appearing to me? Why are you tormenting me? I said, show yourself. I said, show yourself. You called. Yes. Why do you keep appearing to me? Why are you tormenting me? Why do you appear to me in my dreams at night? What flows through your veins? Is the only substance that can melt every chain that has held me captive all these years. What do you mean by that? Your blood. Only your blood can make me whole again. What are you talking about? Junior Kelvin Nabike. The answer to the questions you seek lies within you. If only you can search harder and much more intentionally, everything will be clear to you. How do you know my name and what are you talking about? I don't understand. You are more powerful than you think. I have never felt such amount of power flowing through when a gifted one before. Like the way I feel, I feel it flowing through you. You are the most powerful gifted one who has ever existed on the surface of this earth. 
You are much more powerful than you can ever think of. You're making me more confused. I don't understand what you're talking about. The evil that looms around your household, it's very dark and powerful. And if you give in to her deceptions, she won't only destroy your family, she would also destroy you. And not even the very powerful power that you bear will be able to save you. I don't understand. Again. Who are you? Why am I the only one that can see you? I once had a family like yours. It was just I, my mom and dad. We were all happy. Until the day we decided to employ a maid. And only to us she was a witch. She killed my parents and casted a spell on me. A spell that prevents me from resting in peace in the great beyond. My soul is weak and I want to rest. Why then? Why do you look this demonic? For thousands of years, I have wandered restlessly on this earth. Just like a flower planted in the desert, have I withered away, and only your blood can set me free. So, what are you saying? Only the blood of an innocent child can set me free. Spill your blood on these grounds and free me. The evil that looms around your household, it's very dark and powerful. And if you give in to her deceptions, she won't only destroy your family, she would also destroy you. And not even the very powerful power that you bear will be able to save you. Help me. Yes. 
Thank you. I asked you to pick Junior up from school. Why didn't you pick him up? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Oh, spare me that crap. This is not the first time you're doing this. This is not the first time I'm asking you to pick him up, and yet you didn't. What if something happened to him on his way back from school? Babe, why are you screaming? Now tell me, are you screaming because of this boy? Is it not his mate that checks from school to their houses? Is it not? And yes, and yes, if something had happened to him, it would be to our advantage. At least it would be out of our lives for good. Listen to yourself sound like a broken record. Huh? If this ever repeats itself again, I promise you, you regret the day you accepted to be my wife. Don't say I didn't want you. Did you see that? My husband has never spoken to me in such manner before. But he just did because of you. Have you seen it? Your plans are finally working. Your plans to take this family apart is finally working. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of this. Will you just shut up your stupid and useless mouth? One more word from you, I will pull out your tongue from your miserable mouth. You see you? I know your plan, but your plan will never work. Look at you. Demonic scammer. Your end is near. Mark my word, your end is near. Stupid boy. Useless thing. Um, honey? Baby, listen. What does he mean by evil looms around my household? Or is it because of that girl that appears to me? No, it can't be her. Her story is too touching and pathetic. But why did he say that I am a gifted child? Like the others, and I'm powerful. In the morning, I think I need to go and meet him to get more information because I don't understand. You have questions in your head living rent free. Questions only you have answers to. Please, what you told me yesterday confused me the more. Can you clarify me so I can know what to do? Your blood is so special and unique. And if you give in to the deception of the witch, you and your entire family will be thrown into everlasting torture and anguish. But she said... The venomous tongue of a serpent is sweetest when she needs something. The daughter of the great queen Delia is very destructive and her wrath knows no bounds. 
Free her from captivity. And you and your entire family will be thrown into captivity yourself. You need to be careful. Careful for she bears more wisdom than you can ever think of. Please, who really are you? From the very day you were conceived by your mother, I never left your side. The heavens manufactured me to watch over you. You are my master. is troubled. My soul is weak. Free me from these chains of captivity. I beg you. You lie. Hell you came and hell you shall remain. There is no space for you dwelling with mortals.
What's going on? Okay. Why don't you just guess? Guess? Mm hmm Of course you know I'm not good with guesses. Just try. Babe, go ahead and tell me why you're happy. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. Let me help you out. <coughs> I have to clear my throat, you know. I should as well clear my ears, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my love, your wife is pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you know, baby, I was, I was feeling somehow, so I went to the hospital and the doctor confirmed that I am three weeks pregnant. <laughs> I'm going to be father. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. Let's let's go celebrate this. Okay. No, I have something to show you. Okay. <laughs> Easy, I'm pregnant, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Me. Wait. How did you just... The journey of every gifted child is filled with thorns. Filled with so much hills and valleys. It's never a smooth sail. For that is the price to pay for being a savior of the vulnerable mortals. Anytime you appear to me from nowhere, you confuse me the more. I'm just tired. I feel like giving up. Every gifted child is a blessing to the world. And your very existence is for good. Always remember this. Whenever you feel like giving up or giving in to the troubles and challenges of life. Do, do you claim I am powerful? Why don't you show me a glimpse of what you can do? Why did you do that? You can do that too. If you want. I can't do that. I don't think I am powerful the way you think. You are so powerful. More powerful than every other gifted who has existed before you. You need to learn to manifest your powers. Else, it will consume you from within. Because your powers are so strong and eager to be released. The battle ahead is near. You'll be needing your powers.
Dad. Dad, yep. mom is pregnant, right? She's three weeks pregnant. I can't remember telling you about it. How did you know? I don't also know how I knew. Oh, mom, maybe I overheard you and mom talking about it. Oh, that's creepy. But yes, mom's pregnant. Can't wait <laughs> to see my baby brother. I know. Huh? <laughs> I know. So. Congratulations, mom. I can't wait to play with my baby brother around this compound. Yep. Collins. I thought I told you not to tell this demon about my pregnancy. But what did you do? You told him. Come on, darling. You could not be pregnant and not tell your son about it. He's not my son! He's a demon! He's a devourer of my unborn children! But let me shock you. You see this baby right here? You cannot touch him. You know why? His skin is too tough for you to devour! Demon! Wizard! Annabelle! What's this? Hey, don't let that get to you, all right? Come. It's all right. Soon, you'll be running around the house with your brother. Okay? Okay. No, 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 no,
For how long will you continue like this? You seriously need to stop, babe. You need to. <sighs> Meanwhile, I made your favorite. Right? Yam and egg sauce. So let's go downstairs and eat. Okay, I'm not hungry. <sighs> Babe, for how long are you going to continue to starve yourself like this? For how long? For God's sake, I just lost a child. I don't want to lose you too. So please, let's go downstairs and eat. What am I living for? Tell me, Collins. <sighs> what exactly am I living for? It is the duty of every woman to give her husband a child. A married woman who is unable to give her husband a child is as good as useless. So I want to know what I am living for. Darling, you are living for me. For us. We're family. Alright? We'll go through this together. We'll try. We'll, we'll try again. I promise you I will never pressurize you to give me a child. We're in this together. For how long? For how long are you going to stand by me? If what? nearly you will get frustrated and you will vent your frustration on me someday. So tell me for how long are you going to be by my side? Darling, I promise you that day will never come. And I'm going to stand by your side for as long as I live. Okay? So please, let's go downstairs and eat. I'm not hungry. I just want to die. I feel so useless right now. I no. just want to give up, okay? No, baby, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't. I just want to you die. I'm going through a lot. I don't right, you want you can't, to have you, anything. You can't tell me you want to die. What, what about me? baby the very day we spoke about it coincidence dad don't tell me you believe this don't tell me that you believe that i am responsible for my mother's miscarriage. Natural powers can see light and dark, truth and light. Only fight, you gotta be wise. Talk to right, here comes the night. Yeah. Light and dark, truth and lies, all it is. Only the ones with supernatural powers can see light and dark, 
Truth and lies, all invite, you gotta be wise. Talk to right, here comes the night. Yeah. Lights and dark, truth and lies, all invite, you gotta. Don't stop crying. Your tears waters and calms the burning flames in my soul. So please, keep crying. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why don't you just leave me alone? I can't. You're the only one who can free me. Free me and gain your freedom in return. No! I will never do that. I did it. You did what? I dug that thing off her stomach and feasted on it. Guess what? It tasted so nice, it was so good. And also, I used your face as a camouflage, so she would think you're the one who does everything bad to her. <laughs> you killed my brother. You killed my brother! You killed my brother! <laughs> everything I do, Draws me closer and closer to my freedom. And once I'm free, you will not escape my wrath. Hmm? Your heart is heavy. Your soul is weary. While your spirit is drenched of life. That bitch. She killed my brother. And now my whole family hates me because they think I'm responsible. Are you? Of course not. The witch, she used camouflage. She used my face. And now, now, just to make them believe that I'm the one responsible for all these predicaments. I think I am possessed. I'm possessed with an evil spirit because wherever I go, bad things always happen. That is because you are gifted. And anyone who is gifted, the devil fights. No. For their existence is a threat to his existence. I'm not gifted. I am normal, just like every other child out there. No. Then how comes you knew your mother was three weeks pregnant? Even before your father told you. Wait. How do you know? How comes you knew your mother was carrying a male child? Even before the unborn child matures enough for its gender to be seen through a pregnancy scan machine. I, I don't know. I, I just know things. I... Only a gifted knows what was said behind closed doors. Brace yourself up. 
for the evil that looms around your household. It's about to be set free. It is predestined to happen. And nothing, not even your power can stop it. You need to learn to manifest your powers. Soon enough. Please, can you teach me so I can manifest my powers? I don't know how to do it. No one can teach you how to control your powers. The very day you learn to control your mind, that is the very day you learn to control your powers. You, my brother, if you are not a wizard, if you are not the devil himself, tell me, how did you know the gender of my child? Now tell me, how did you know? And I've warned you severely to stop calling me your mother because I can never, I can never be a wizard. I can never be that to the devil. Stupid boy. Stand up. Stand up. I will not have you. I will keep you. I will keep you. I will keep you. I will Stand up. Stand up. You see you. You see how sad? It is. I will force you. You see you don't want me to give back. Listen. I will. I will. What am I hearing? What is. No, tell me. What is. What is that? Raise your hands. Raise it up. Nonsense. Stupid boy. Evil spirits. You see you, eh? I will deal with you in this house. I will so deal with you that even your, your common people will not recognize you anymore. We we'll give you a difficult tax. Now listen. Get a broom. Sweep this whole compound. After sweeping it, you mop it. You do the dishes. You wash my clothes. You clean my bedroom. As a matter of fact, you mop this gate. Yes! Mop the gate! The gate is dirty. Mop it! Mom. What did you call me? Wait. What did you just call me again? Have I not told you? Have I not, have I, have I not told you never to stop calling, calling me mother? I can never give birth to a devil like you. Stop calling me your mother. I am not your mother. I am not your mother. You see? You have decided to make my life a living hell, right? No problem! I am ready to reciprocate. I will make your life a living hell too in this house! Yes! Let's see who gets hot. Stand up. Stand up! I'm talking you are there. Stand up! Go in here! Get broom and sweep this whole compound! You slash thing! Are you still there? Stupid boy! Demonic idiot! Okay. No problem. Junior! Demonic Junior, are you still there? Evil Spirit Junior! This boy think I'm talking. Okay. 
life is not worth living. Everything is against me. My family that is supposed to be my solace is the cause of my pain and sorrow. Why don't I just end it? Why don't I just end my life? Go on. Kill yourself. This life you think you're living isn't worth it. Just die. End this pain and be free. Don't you want that? Junior, your mother doesn't love you. The person you love so much hates you. This is a chance for you to end it. Pick up the knife and do the needful. End your life. Nobody loves you. You're just like an outcast to them. Pick it up. End your life. Be free. Spill your blood on this ground and be free of all these pains. Nobody loves you. This is a chance for you to be happy. It's a chance for you to, to, to be okay again. Pick it up. Pick up the knife and, and, just, and just go away. All your pains will be gone. You won't feel pain anymore. Pick it up. Nobody loves you. Nobody even cares about you. It's just it's a chance for you to go. End your pains. Yes. Do it, Junior. Yes. yes. Every gifted child is a blessing to the world. And your very existence is for good. Always remember this. Whenever you feel like giving up or giving in to the troubles and challenges of life. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it, Junior. Do it. I won't do it! I have everything to live for. I won't do it! No! What are you doing? I give you 40 minutes. 40 minutes to do the house chores. And it's more than one hour, you're still doing nothing? Why are you lazy? Mom, please. I was tired. Oh I've not eaten, Mom. Please. My goodness. I have told you. I have told you to stop calling me, Mom. Stop calling me, Mom. Are you deaf? What is wrong with you? I am not your mother. I can never give birth to a demonic boy like you. I think I know what to do. I will give you an unforgettable mark so that whenever you see that mark, you will know your enemy gave it to you. Thank you so much. You're my savior. There's no boundaries 
holding me anymore. Guess what? I promise that I would destroy everything that lives under this roof. Everything that has air in its lungs. <laughs> God does not answer prayers coming from a heart clouded with so much fear and doubt. Not even a legion of your God can save you from my destructions now. How did you learn this? How? I promise you that I'm not done with you. I will come back for you. We need to leave this house. It's not safe for us. Junior, what are you talking about? The girl. The girl that I always see. She was in captivity. But now she is free. And she will stop at nothing to end our lives. That we need to leave. Junior, what are you talking about? Huh? Are you sure you're all right? Dad, I'm fine. I speak up the truth. <laughs> what, what? What happened to your head? Huh? Who did this? It Who got this? what he asked for. What are you talking about, Annabelle? I promise to give him an unforgettable mark. So that whenever he sees it, he will remember that his enemy gave it to him. Or better still, I should have just slit his throat. What? Annabelle, you did this? I will do more. Where in God's name are you going to stop, Annabelle? Are you this wicked? Are you this heartless? Don't tell me I got married to a heartless woman. I can't believe a woman can inflict such pain on a boy who calls her mother. How on earth is nature supposed to give you yours? Why? You really need to stop, Annabelle. You need to stop all of this. Please. Thank you. 
the same boy. The same boy who is responsible for my recent miscarriage. The same boy who has been responsible for my miscarriages in four years of marriage. That is the same boy you are supporting. That is the same boy you are choosing over me, your wife. Where is your conscience? Believe I am not choosing anyone over you. Alright? All I'm saying is that you went extreme. What if you died in the process? You know you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. I don't care. Yes. I don't care if he dies in the process. You know why? Because this same boy has been eating my unborn children. And yes. He has been gallivanting around this house, waiting for my next pregnancy for him to eat up again as usual. Listen, I am tired. Please, I am tired of everything. I'm going insane. I am tired. I'm tired of the pain. I'm tired of the trauma. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired. I'm tired of losing my children. I'm tired of getting pregnant and losing it. I'm so tired. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. I'm tired of this kind of life. I'm tired. It's okay. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's okay. Everything is going to be just fine. <laughs> the boy is too much for me. I'm tired. Colin, I'm tired. It's okay. Baby. I'm tired. <laughs> This is the end of your journey. I will kill you both in the slowest and painful way ever. How is this possible? How are you doing this? I won't let you hurt my family. What's wrong? Babe, talk to me. Are you okay? Babe. Babe, I'm serious. Talk to me. What is wrong with you? Babe, I, I, I almost done. What's going on? Be the victim of the prayer. As the 
Do not give up on your family now that they need you the most. No. I'm not going back there. They hate me. Delia was sent into captivity by a very powerful gifted child thousands of years ago. And as the year goes by, her fury gets more and more worse. She was freed by your blood and only you can send her back to eternal captivity. Do not let her destroy your family for it may seem they don't love you but every single thing they've done against you was all her doing. Do not let her win because if you do the entire human race will be doomed. And not even you will escape it.
my love. Um, lunch is served. Go ahead. I'll join you later. Babe, are you okay? Seriously, Annabelle. You shouldn't have sent him away. <sighs> Babe, you're talking about the same boy that hypnotized you, that you almost strangled me to death. No. No, I... I know that boy is innocent. He, 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 he would never do a thing like that. It's... <sighs> Babe, I know deep inside of me that he is innocent. He is. Babe, listen. He's not innocent. That boy is a demon. He's possessed. He's a wizard. We don't need him in this house. We don't need him in our life. Okay? Why, why, why do you hate Junior so much? Oh, why? I love you. Why? Can you Look at me. Look at me. I love you. I love you so much, okay? Can you stop thinking about him? Please. Hey, please. I miss him. It's fine. I'm here for you. Let's go a bit now. Please, let's go. Stand up. You know I love you so much, right? Babe, are you okay? Babe. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Hey! Babe, what's wrong? Hey! Hey! Babe, can you stop? Babe! Hey! Hey! Look, 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 look. He's, he's right there. I, I, I told you now. I, I told you. He's, he's there. Hey, look, look now! condition now. I've administered some vaccines to enable him to have some rest and probably sleep for a few hours and from there we'll proceed. Okay, thank you doctor. But I want to know, what was actually wrong with my husband? From tests conducted on him, it will surprise you to hear that your husband is perfectly fine. He's in good condition. But what I don't understand is why these erratic behaviors um, could it be stress from work? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Nevertheless, we've put him under proper observation and hope for positive improvements when he wakes up. I pray so too. Amen. You wish to get pregnant. Fine. You will be pregnant with something heavier than stone. And the pregnancy will stay with you until death decides to take away your body.
Tests conducted on you. You're healthy. No. And in good condition. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't understand how come all this. Doctor, I don't know. I don't know what has happened to me. I don't know. I, I just woke up this morning screaming loudly of stomach ache and the next day my stomach is swollen. Doctor, listen, you need to help me. I can't remain like this. You really need to help me, please. How do I explain this? Even an ectopic pregnancy won't show such symptoms. Do, do, do something. Do something. Do something. I think I have to refer you to a man of God who will probably stop by your house and pray for you and your husband. Okay. Because I believe the devil is at work here. Okay, can you just call him, please? Just right. call him already, some, please. There's, there's some spiritual inclination to this. Call him. Call him, doctor. Doctor, the pain is unbearable. Please call him. Call him. Call him. You will be okay. I can't, okay? I can't even breathe. Fine. No. Hold on. You'll be okay. Cheer up. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. I promise you that. Okay, just call him. Just call him. The pain is too much. It's too much. Calm down. You'll be fine. You'll be good. Hello, Pastor. I've been waiting for you. I've been expecting you at the house for a long time, and I think I have other shadows to me. I'm, I'm right in front of my house. Are you close? Oh, please, can you hurry up? Please, please. Good afternoon, sir. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Junior, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, sir. God has been faithful to me. Yeah, God has been faithful indeed. Um, not to forget, I spoke to your mother some days ago and she said a whole lot and all that has transpired. I think it's high time you went back to your family. Your family needs you now much more than ever. Your family needs their son. No, they don't need me. They have never needed me. I've tried everything for them to accept me, but yet, they don't. After all, I'm not even their biological son. I don't understand if you know what your family has been through these trembling times. You need to go back to your parents. One day, I pray she has a child of her own. That she showers with love, the same love she has failed to give me. Here comes the night, yeah.
The Bible said, though I walk through the valley of the channel of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, the rod and the staff, that comforted me. Every evil spirit around this house, I command you to leave. Every evil spirit surrounding this family, I command you to leave. I cover this family with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover every household with the blood of Jesus Christ. Though no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The Bible says a thousand will fall at my right hand side. Country system. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says uh, that thousand will fall at my right hand, a thousand will fall at my right hand side, um, and ten thousand uh, at my left hand side. Uh, they shall never come near my dwellings. Uh, only will I see them with my eyes. Uh, Libra Gadabosha. How did you find me? I am always here with you. From the very day you were conceived by your mother and you were still in her womb, I never left your side. I will continually tell you this until you realize that you are never alone. What is it? Tell me, what do you want? The evil I speak of is at the verge of completely enveloping your family with a dark cloud. Only you can stop that evil from existing. What are you saying in this sentence? Go back to your family and see. Because if Deliah is allowed to freely gallivant around her, she will destroy your family. After Deliah destroys your family, she would go to the next family for destruction. 
and it will continue to go on and on until she completely wipes out the human race from the surface of the earth. I will do no such thing. How could I be maltreated by the same people I'm trying to save? If you're as powerful as me, why don't you go and take them? We all have our cross to carry. Do not shy away from yours. Because if you do, innocent people will get hurt. I have moved on. I now have a family who loves me and shows me care. I'm not going back to the place that they don't love me and don't value me. What is it? Why are you crying? I have no home. My family threw me out. I'm so sorry. I wish I could help, but I can't. You will take me to your home, right? Let's go. How could you? How could you be so wicked and heartless? A passerby who showed you concern was hypnotized by you. You caused her to love you much more than she loved her own children. You didn't only really stop there. You casted a spell on her husband that made him love you immensely. They do not love you. You only forced them to. And who made you judge me? Huh? Who? Your gift was bestowed upon you by the heavens to heal and to give life and not to intimidate and oppress the mere mortals. I don't care what you think about this. But if you dare interfere, I. Personally, Stop! Do not trade on this path. For this path that you trade on leads to doom and destruction. Go back home and save your family. Because it was for the same reason the heavens bestowed upon you this gift. Use your gifts wisely. Just let me just ask you what I want to ask you on phone. Eh? 
Please tell me the truth. I need your sincere honesty on this one. Tell me the truth. What happened to the former occupants of the house you rented me? What happened to them? I'll be very sincere with you. The former occupants of the house were all murdered in mysterious ways. Just as the occupant who lived in the house before. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! James! James! Hey! I knew it! I knew it! I knew that this house is a haunted house! I knew it! I knew that a witch resides in this house! I just had the edge of, of destroying my home! Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! James, as I speak to you right now, my husband and I are in a critical condition all because of your selfishness! Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that this house is a haunted house? Why didn't you tell me? Hey! Hey, AJ, don't you dare! Don't you dare call the call on me! Don't you dare call the call! AJ! Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm finished! I'm finished! What am I going to do? If you try leaving this house, you will die before you do.
just came out and I couldn't see him. Like, search everywhere for him. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't want anything to happen to my husband. I, I, I don't know. No way to be found. Yes. How? I don't know. I searched everywhere for him. I couldn't find him. I don't want anything to happen to my husband, doctor. Let me just die. I am tired of this kind of life. I am tired. I am tired. The pain is too much. It's too much. Hey, I don't even know which one is more painful. I don't know. Is it the fact that my husband, my husband is on chain so that he will not run away? Or the fact that I have a big stone in my stomach? Eh? Which one is more painful? You can't continue like this. 
Something really needs to be done about all this. Something like what? No, tell me! Something like what? The only thing is for me to just give up. Maybe just die. Even the agent. The agent that gave me this house confirmed that the past tenants, all of them, died in a mysterious ways. So now it's my turn to die. Let me just die. No, Let me die. just die. No, you won't the pain die. is too much. It's too much. That agent who rented this house to you, I believe, is an agent of the devil. We really need to do something about this. We need to invite a stronger man of God. I think I know of one. You do? Sure. Then what are we waiting for? Please, let's go. Let's go before I will die. Let's go. Let's go. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I commit this house under your divine protection. This is your son that was struck by darkness of madness. And I ask you, oh God, by your son, redeem him. Also, your precious daughter is going through some kind of damage or abandonment. Father, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, please redeem your son. Redeem your precious daughter from this kind of bondage that she is going through. I mean, Kakur, my child, but I commit this family to your divine protection, oh God. Father, please, if I am your son, oh protect you, oh Jesus Christ, son of the living God. Redeem your daughter. Redeem your son. Oh God. Thank you, God. I command you and I beg that the Holy Spirit will go silence the devil. What? In the name of Jesus, I beg you, oh God. Abika Kuruma Shagba. Ampampo. Oh God, I beg you this, oh Father. I said I've been Kakuru. Oh, redeem your son in the name of Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Ah. I can feel the presence of a dark evil around. Woman, you have a son. A son? Yes. No, I don't have a child. I don't even have a child. The Holy Spirit tells me that there's a boy that grew up here calling you mom. That must be Junior. He's our adopted son or oh, pastor. The Spirit ministered to me that he's the Holy One. That can redeem you and your husband from this bondage. Yes, you must find him and bring him back here because he has the power to match this evil spirit and he's on his for good. He's the holy one. So, this is what you have to do. You must find him and bring him back to this house. Hey! You daughter of darkness. I know who you are. You are from the Habis. And today I will send you there. Light? Darkness? <laughs> Funny. Remember your university days when you got a girl pregnant and refused to take responsibilities? <clears throat> she died trying to have an abortion. And believe me when I say you're the cause of her death, which makes you darkness. You are the devil. And I know that the devil is the accuser of a Britain. I know you're measuring this to weaken or shaken my resolve. But in the name of Jesus, you will not. I have for forgiveness. And the Lord has forgiven me. So you will not measure this to weaken my feet now. Will you shut up? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ to receive that which is due that we've given to the body. Either good or bad. 2 Corinthians 5.10 The devil himself disguised as the angel of light. So there is no thing if you quote from the Bible. But in the same Bible in that same Corinthians 12, 14, 13 to 14, it is mentioned there. So I'm not scared of you. And today I will send you where you belong. For much more than a thousand years, I 
was held captive by the legion of those who are damned. And that is an experience I would not want to go back to. So trust me, whoever tries to take me back there will not leave this company alive. That I promise. I dare you. Try. <laughs> Number 77 Lagos Street, Living Spring. Number 77 Lagos Street, Living Spring. Number 77 Lagos Street, Living Spring. The exit route to the darkness your family has been confronted with lies in this location. I know that what I did to you is unforgivable. Oh, please, I beg you, my child. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. If not for me, for the sake of your father who lost you so much. And he still does. Please, my child, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who loves me? Who loves me yet? Watched you throw me out into the dark. Know we full well that I have nowhere to go. But you see, he loves me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry for everything I've done to you. I, I believe you. I believe you. I believe everything you have been telling us. I believe that that house is a haunted house. I believe that a witch resides there. I believe you, Junior. Just, just look at me. 
Look at me. She, she, she struck me with this, with this thing. There is a stone crying inside my stomach. And I don't know what to do about it. Even your father. Your father is struck with madness. What? Yes. As we speak, he's on chains. He is struck with madness, Junior, please. It's only you that can help me. Please, I beg you. I'm so sorry for everything. I'm sorry, my child, my child. Please, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm going through a lot. Help me, please. Help You're me. pregnant with Delia's baby. And when it's time for you to deliver, your stomach will burst. And you will be dead. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey, no, 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 I don't want to die, I don't want to die, my child, please, I beg you, I don't want to die, please, help me, please, I don't want to die, my child, please help me, you have to help me, I don't want to die, Judy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for everything, I'm sorry, please help me, my child, I'm sorry for everything I've done to you, please, I don't want to die, please, I beg you, my child, Your time is up. I will kill you. And when I'm done with that, I will kill your wife so she can join you in hell. Stop right there! You will not hurt my family. You are stronger than you think. Only if you can trust the heavens that bestowed upon you this special gift. If redeeming my family was the reason I was manufactured to this world, may I make my family whole.
was. Are you are you well? Why? Why am I so hungry? Hmm? Collins, Collins, you're well. I'm hungry. Y yeah, I will give you food. I will give you a lot of food. Collins, you're well. Oh my God, Collins, you're well. What's, what's going on? It's a long story, baby. Listen, it's a long story. I will explain everything to you later. But for now, I am so happy. The load in my stomach is gone and you are well, my darling. You are well. What, what are you so... What I should have done a long time ago. I curse you. I curse you to go back to your creator, the devil, and you will suffer internal damnation. This is not just for the blood of my mother, but for the blood of my family that you murdered in cold blood. <laughs> You are not that strong and I promise you I will be back! <laughs> you lie! A drop of blood from the blood that flows through his veins is enough to freeze the hottest part of hell to ice. This is the same chain that was used to hold you down in Kapsu. Same chain that was used to hold the mortal that you casted the spell of madness upon. And on this day, this same chain will be used to hold you down in captivity. And no power under the sun cannot do No, 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 you, you lie! You cannot hurt me, you lie! No, don't you dare! Don't you dare! No! Not even the blood of any gifted child can save you.
my baby. You're awake. Oh, come here. Come yes, here. mom. So, how are you? I'm fine, mom. You sure you're okay? Mom, you're licking orange. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, I thought you don't like orange. So, why are you licking it? My darling. Honestly, I do not know what is wrong with me lately. I crave for things that I do not like, like orange. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. You're pregnant. You're too big pregnant, man. Don't worry. This one will stay. And he will open your womb to conceive more children. Dark. Okay. 